CPU dependency or driver overhead has been a significant topic of discussion for some time. While GPU performance is relatively straightforward to understand, the impact of GPU architecture and driver on CPU performance is less obvious and often overlooked. While working on the large test of an RTX 4070 versus RX 7800 XT that is coming soon, we thought that we could take a brief look at that aspect and compare these two GPUs with Intel Arc, since I have it anyway. Hello and welcome back to Hardware Lab! A few things to notice before watching the test segment. First, I really suggest you watch our video about bottleneck if you are unsure how it works, otherwise you won't understand why this guy compares high-end and low-end cards and is surprised that expensive card is faster. We are not comparing the GPUs, we are comparing the CPU performance. CPU and GPU performance are two different things. Before running the benchmarks, we made sure that all cards, including ARC, are either entirely CPU limited or almost. It was hard to figure out the settings and scenarios in which Ryzen 5700X3D will bottleneck ARC A770, but we managed to do that. Not an ideal CPU choice for this purpose, we understand. Second, recording quality on Intel ARC is disgusting. I know and I feel sorry for whoever will watch that. But this quality is required to not lose like 30% of the CPU performance on ARC. Hey ARC's hardware encoder, are you really a hardware encoder? Third, as usual all measurements for the final statistics were collected on the separate run from recording, so the numbers you see after each test are not affected. As you probably already guessed, the testing rig consists of Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. It is paired with 16GB of 3733 CL161515 1536 DDR4 RAM. All the games are installed on the NVMe SSD. The output resolution is 720p. The render is controlled by upscaling technique if enabled. Yes, 720p is there to become CPU limited and the numbers are fully comparable between each other, despite being far from realistic in some games. From our previous research on ARC CPU dependency, nothing changed in this game and it is way slower than any other card. What's interesting is that the RTX 40 series looks stronger than RDNA 3 in this test. It might be the case for older APIs in general. Last time it was CSGO, now it is CS2, and the results are actually pretty similar to Stalker Clear Sky. Arc is way behind anything else, GeForce is a bit ahead of Radeon. With AMD or Nvidia you can measure some difference, sure, but they are pretty close. Arc makes you feel that you are running a generation older CPU than you are. Worth noticing the CPU load on Arc as well. It is noticeably higher despite producing less frames.
first game built on modern API and first surprise. Arc is actually on the same level with less sketchy dudes. It's nice to see, but makes you wonder what's wrong with the other games then. Is it a software issue or an architecture limitation? I'd say this software should have been fixed by now and it actually is. Let's see what happens in other DX12 titles. In Cyberpunk it was extremely hard to get CPU limited on AUG, so we decided to use the most CPU demanding location in the game rather than a benchmark. It looks like ARC can still be limiting the system, but without recording the load indicator is further away from 100% than with, and performance is almost exactly the same. Even if GPU limitation has played a slight role here, the problem with CPU dependency is still obvious. The difference between AMD and Nvidia cards is more than obvious in Talos Principle 2 in favor of AMD. Looks like AMD is doing a slightly better job in this aspect with newer and more advanced games, but worse with older. Interlock is just having fun, so let's leave it alone. CPU dependency on ARC may have been improved since our last review of it, but the problem is still obvious and likely hardware, not software. And for GeForce and Radeon, it isn't clear. We've seen a few benchmarks where AMD is doing better job when CPU limited on other channels, but most of them were done in recent games and in DX12. It is worth knowing that in older or less technically advanced games, AMD can still easily be slower in terms of CPU performance. However, the difference is just never as bad as with Intel Arc. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for the upcoming videos such as benchmarks of an RTX 4070 against 7800 XT, and as usual, stay up to date with HL.